I want to talk about my grandfather's experiences, when he was alive, he was a fervent Christian and a doctor who loved the health of his patients, he died in February 2000, he retired in 1995, but he exercised his profession in the 80s and 90s. He says that when he prayed a lot to receive the gift of vision and began to have spiritual vision, he always spoke to his kids and also my mom about the terrible visions he saw in the hospital where he worked. He was working in a particular hospital where there was an asylum where several people with mental problems were treated. He said that in several sectors of medical specialties, there were demons, the hospital where he worked was full of demons, and to be sincere all the hospitals where he worked, there were always many demons, but the last public hospital where he worked before retirement, he said that the emergency ward and the intensive care unit was the worst, and when he visited the sick in these units to see people who were on machines trying to recover or waiting for death he saw soul collecting demons on the roof of the hospital. These demons came to seek the souls of those who were already doomed to death, he said these demons were like monsters, they were hooded and dark, these demons that came to collect souls in the hospital stood next to each patient's bed waiting for the person to die, and when that person died, the demon collector of souls that was beside the bed took the soul along the hospital floor for a black hole opened on the ground and the monster descended with the soul in a dark hole, down to the depths of the earth, where you couldn't see anything, every day my grandfather saw demon soul collectors arriving at the hospital to seek souls, he was a Christian doctor, a man of God that was preaching the word in the hospital, and when he looked at the ceiling of that hospital, it was full of winged demons flying on top like vultures going after rotten meat, they were crazy about the souls of the people who were in the terminal phase in intensive care, he found himself in the obligation to win these souls, he was the only preacher who was there and started to evangelize the patients without anyone knowing, one day he entered a room where a girl was already in the terminal phase of life, she was on the device and couldn't move the body, she could only move her eyes, he came in to check the health status and preached to that girl appealing to her to repent, he said, God loves you, even if there is no way for you anymore to improve from that disease, the only way would be to accept Jesus as the only saviour in order not to go to hell. He told the girl to regret her sins, and when he looked at the girl's eyes, he saw tears falling from her eyes, and when the girl was sorry in her heart, she gave a signal for him to know she got it, moving a finger very slowly my grandfather said, I asked the Lord to show me what was in her thoughts because she couldn't speak, the Lord showed me how she prayed in her thought, she said, Lord Jesus, at this moment I turn away from my sins, and I ask you for forgiveness, purify my soul, and clean my heart, washing my body and spirit with your blood so that you come to redeem me from my sin so that I can enter paradise, may you write my name in the book of life and I give my soul into your hands. Immediately the Lord showed me an angel that was already around her bed to take her to heaven, and I saw a demon that went down to her bed to get her soul, but there was a dispute there and the angel pointed his sword at the demon and said, This soul was justified and do not belong to you, and the angel took the hand of the girl and the girl went up to heaven when she passed away, two days after my grandfather preached to her, she was saved in the last moments, if my grandfather hadn't evangelized her, the demon that came for her would have taken her soul. This proves the importance of evangelism in the hospital that is a place neglected by soul winners. Later on, a young man arrived at the hospital wounded by a gunshot and my grandfather preached the word to him, the young man said, I accept Jesus as my savior, my grandfather was happy to know that he had one more soul for Jesus, days after, the boy's injury started to get worse and he was in serious condition. My grandfather said, I wasn't that worried about the boy because I knew that he had accepted Jesus with my preaching, later on, the boy died. The moment he passed away, my grandfather had a vision of his room, he saw a demon coming down from the ceiling of the hospital with a small scroll. He approached the angel that was deployed there, and he showed him the name of that boy. The angel could do nothing. He left and that hooded soul collector demon took the boy's soul to the place of torment for his name was written on that scroll and that demon owned that soul. The angel couldn't do anything, and my grandfather questioned God why even after having accepted Jesus as his savior, God still left the demons take that soul, 
He spent months searching for an answer until the Lord said to him, The boy accepted Jesus by mouth. He was not sincere, and his confession did not come from the heart. They were empty words that said, I accept Jesus, but in his thoughts, he said, When I recovered from that shot, I would take revenge. He so hoped anxiously for recovery in order to drink alcoholic beverages, using drugs, and enjoy the world parties. Everything he said and confessed like he would walk the paths of God is not a truth. Those words were just lip service and were not sincere, that was the reason he was not saved. God allowed death to come to him for he played with God. If he had really converted, he wouldn't have died in that hospital and God would have raised this young man to win souls for him. Yet when he said he is sick of that way of life, and he will serve God, he was not sincere, the pain of illness makes the person speak many promises just for God to heal him and get rid of that disease, and when the person receives the cure, he will not fulfill his promises, you cannot deceive God, he knows your heart even more than you, your mouth speaks things but your heart wants another, when my grandfather worked at the hospital asylum. He saw demons tormenting the patients, these people were not crazy, demons were in them, but the doctors treated them as crazy, how many remedies these people take to cure madness when they were not crazy but tormented by demons? How many soothing injections have they taken to treat a wrong underlying cause? My grandfather cried a lot for them and prayed for these lives, how many battles he fought in that hospital, when he prayed for demonized patients? Those demons that were in hospital followed my grandfather from the hospital to his home. There are legions of demons that stay in the hospital as it is a place of death and infirmities. Patients are treated by doctors who are under an illusion and they die. For those patients that don't regain their health, demons enter the doctors and the doctors deliver wrong and deadly medicine to kill them. The devil does all manner of tricks and subterfuge to take souls down to hell. That was the experience of my late grandfather who is already in glory, God bless. Stay in the peace of God.